Officer Buell? Tank. Tank Stamper. Listen, I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Oh shit. <sighs> Daniel. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Police will get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, Hank? I don't know. They'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so, then. Well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh, hey there. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you. But if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? It hurts. I didn't pop you that hard. You're all right. I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Just let me use the bathroom. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. I saw it in the paper. We didn't do anything. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. What is he running? Windows 98? He's lucky. He won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go. Please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Fuck off. No one has to build a fucking wall anywhere. Come on. It's only plastic. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wonder if I could get more light from it. Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. Daniel must be scared shitless. I can't leave him out there. Fuck. This. Shit! Nano, you're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. Can you try and open this vent? We'll figure something out. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something.
It is. But be careful. It might attract him. I don't even want to think of this asshole reading this thing. Oh yeah. This racist shithead is a real pillar of the community, all right. Hey, you think you can open the back door? Sofa, boy. Right. I need something to break this shit. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Find me something sturdy. Like a, a screwdriver or a wrench, anything. But where can I find one? And I know I can't really see much from where I am. There should be some tools nearby. Okay, okay, I'm looking. Daniel. Come on. Let's do this. Yes. Good job, bro. I see. Come on, come on. Okay, hold on. Come on. Yes! Sean! Oh, God. I was so scared. Holy shit. Did that mother... Did that asshole hit you? Did he? No. He tried to grab me. But I got away. Okay. We need to cut this off, fast. How about these? Dude, you rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now we gotta get my stuff Don't and go. <gasps> Do. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now.
Well, I can feel it. You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your life. The hell with you. I told you to leave us alone. Sean, what are you doing? Daniel, come on. We gotta get out of here. Come on! Come on! Wait! Shit! You're pissing more white dudes off. Where are we going? Sean! Watch out! Over there! Let's go! I don't know! Oh, it's that dude. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? You don't look okay. That asshole at the gas station. We're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, they no more. I believe you, okay? She's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you too. Hurry up before he catches us. I would love to have a rewind power. Are they turning into wolves at the end of this? Something's up with their little brother. having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started too earlier, but I bought too much stuff just to piss him off. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't <laughs> Seattle no more. Yeah. My dad said there are more Bigfoots out here than Mexicans. No doubt. People out here are more scared of you and your little brother. This is nuts. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> what? Did he take blanket? the puppy? Come on, I'm not stupid. we are so what should her name be oh hey your dog your choice oh cool let's see um mm, how about uh, mushroom no she totally looks like a mushroom <laughs> come on that's not even a name, dude. But I love mushroom. And you said it was my choice. Okay, okay. You win. <laughs> but this one's on you. Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. The guy probably knows about them. He probably read it in the paper and is understands it and trying to protect him. Psych. 
Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money. But... No soul. I took off after school... ...and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Yeah, whatever. Wow. So you're like all... political. Everything is political, Sean. <laughs> Man, that sounds cool. Don't you ever get kind of lonely? Uh, there's a big difference between alone and lonely. Yeah, and you probably meet a lot of people out here. That's right. The unseen side of America. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, uh... I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. I just hope he stays a good one. The wolves again. Something's up with the wolves. Break. Man, look at that. <gasps> Oregon is like the edge of the world. That looks like this place in Mexico. Hmm. Or is it Acadia Bay? Listen, I know what happened with you guys I knew in it. Seattle. I knew it. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was all my fault. Janet wanted to play saw me and... Of course, I told him to get lost, and our asshole neighbor was picking on him, and I freaked out. So Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops, and they killed my dad in front of me. It's all my fucking fault. All I had to do was play with Daniel, and Dad would still be alive. I fucked up my whole family, and now we're alone. <laughs> Hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. I 
<sighs> Listen, it's not your fault. You don't have control over all this stuff. You can't blame yourself for everything that happens in this world. You're gonna be okay, Sean. How? My life feels like... like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. Empty. Like I have nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. Yeah. I know. I just have to find the right time. Isn't Take it, it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was <laughs> thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. <laughs> Should I go back? Uh, to Seattle? Maybe is it Acadia Bay? Me. Is it? What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to I do, I mean, I don't see a lighthouse. So be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? <sighs> Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? Oh, yes. No, no way. She's out of the picture. Oh. But dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. I like him. Yes. Listen, I'll drop you by a motel. Oh, that's so in a cool. Of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. No. Did we meet Max and Chloe? I mean, we wiped out Acadia Bay. <laughs> Good memories. Rachel's still dead, though. Oh, mushroom! <laughs> okay, mushroom, you can chase me. Then shot. Um, uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> Guess I could play a little with these two. Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. 
<laughs> Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay. But I'm next. <laughs> okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, mushroom. Get it. Go, mushroom. Go, mushroom. Come on. Bring it to puppy. I think in real life the puppy would be way too young. <laughs> Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. Now she wants me to throw the stick. <laughs> okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. <laughs> you go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. Get that stick! Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to- you're not leaving? Are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Oh, I look at mushroom. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. Bye, Brody. Thank I'm gonna miss him. Same. Me too. Look, Acadia Bay, 44 miles. Ooh. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Come on, mushroom. Don't worry, mushroom. I got you. Oh, nice. We got thirty dollars. Nice, all right, so. Oh, we stole that one, yeah. <sighs> Sean. Oh, 
of course. Fair enough. I mean, he said we should throw the phone away. It's a lighthouse. Okay, good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. I slept in so many of these. Or a jacuzzi? On a Dude, road trip. This is some hotel. Not California. An if we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Yeah, I've been several times. <laughs> Ooh. Check it out. It even has a bathtub. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice. And warm. Well, okay. If we charge it and turn it on. <gasps> They can soft. locate us. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Wanna play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, bud. Ready? I am so ready to beat you. Aw. Shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. Oh, Ty. Aw, oh, come on. I won! <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. All right. I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pidpen. I wouldn't be so sure, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, we are charging the phone? Hot Dog Man is on! Oh, I remember this episode. Oh, shit, that was wild. Oh, well, the US is always there, so you can always go. And I think it's That's cheaper right, now. Brody. Well, I wouldn't go right now. It's too dangerous. Well, maybe once Corona is over? Man, wish we still had Brody around. Same. Sean, look. Room 10, I found it. No shit, hey. Can you turn that down, please? Aww. Okay, okay. I 
I tried to iron my shirts once. Burned a hole through them. <laughs> I can see why they left that tie. A cheap souvenir for a cheap trip. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm gonna sweep the carpet. Where do you want to go? Brody gave us some cash so we can take one of these tomorrow. They're headed south. Yeah, let's go hike tomorrow. Just for fun. <sighs> yeah. Wish we could go there and pretend nothing happened. Some things do not change. This episode is awesome. You should sit down and watch it. I wasn't me. planning on getting rid of Oh, that bad, would be but... cool. What's that? Uh, it was in Brody's tar. He gave it to you. Uh, well, uh, yeah. You stole it from him? I don't know. It looked cool, and you stole before, so I thought... Man. Yeah, yeah, okay. I see what you did, but you should be careful. I know, I know. Don't worry. Nobody saw me, right? Right. Hey, let's... Let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. Mushroom, look! No worries. We don't have to build a fire tonight. Yeah, 2020 Man. ruined everything this for everyone, I think. So good. But fill her up. Now we can look forward to whatever we want to go after. All of this is over. <laughs> and enjoy oh, it even more. Yuck, Sean. It's a condom in my bag. Oh man. Gross. Hey. Don't touch that. Daniel will love this. Daniel, you have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. Man, this hot water is going to feel so good. One bubble bath coming up. Brother of the month. Yeah, right. My hair feels like it's coated in dirt. A shower after Daniel will be oh bliss. Dude. You really look like shit. Hey, Daniel, bath's ready. What? Already? Can I finish this episode first? <laughs> no, man. You smell so bad. There's no time to lose. Oh. Hey, you smell too. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Time to say goodbye to modern life.
Lila's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. There was a lone ro Oh, I got it. Okay, so he just did... Uh, can I rewind? Because there was just one one wolf, so he... This, he was... Okay. Wait. Okay, okay. And... Only the you. pack survives. Daniel, get your buddy. I will. I will. I will um, play Life is Strange 2 this whole week and then once we're done with that, I'm gonna play Captain. Okay. That was quick. Don't think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! Man, I... I can't dance right now. My legs are thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel... Uh... Come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a coat. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? You will see. Oh, so you think I should play it tomorrow? Daniel! Oh, fuck. So does oh he s have some Daniel. kind of rewind power? What's happening? Daniel, calm down! Um. It, it was an accident. A, a cop fucked up and shot him. That's it. No. No. It's not true. I'm so sorry. Why? Why did you lie to me? I was scared, Daniel. I didn't know what to say. You, you should have told me. I couldn't believe it either. I didn't mean to. It's not fair. Hey, come on. I'm here. It's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> well, schedules can be changed. <laughs> Me too. So if he gets angry, he has some kind of magical <laughs> storm power. We were gonna see Dad. I'm sorry. I just you just don't lie to me ever again. I'll try, Daniel, but I need to protect you now, at any cost. I don't care. I'm not a baby. You don't need to protect me. Yes, I do. 
It's just you and me now. And I won't fail you. <laughs> what are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Sean, am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. Okay. Did they know this already? What are we gonna do now? Or are they just figuring this out now? I was thinking. Maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. <laughs> he used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all right, lived okay. happily together. One day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. This must be the end of episode one. Ooh, I like it! To be continued! Okay, give me the stats. Give me the stats. Alright, uh, you gave to... Oh! Oh, selfish pricks! We told the truth, alright. We hugged him. We didn't take money. We confronted him. Alright, more people stole in the parking lot. 
It didn't back for food, right? We did. Yeah. Oh, most people hit him. That makes me feel better. Most people called her. Should we have called her? I mean, we tried to protect her, right? Oh, well. All right. You learned about trailblazing. He didn't fall, that's good. Build the fort. Oh, right, oops. He didn't get mad, nice. Oh, he got sick from the berries. Most people had an okay night, right, okay. Yeah, right, they can track our phone. That's why I didn't call, and I didn't want to drag her into it um, either. Wouldn't be fair. Oh, he didn't have enough to eat. So... Probably because we stole, he stole as well. Give me the preview. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Come on, man. Focus. <sighs> okay. Trust me. You can do it. Alright, so I think having played episode one, kind of want to continue with episode two tomorrow and then we play captain over the weekend and then I think we're done with the Life is Strange franchise and then we can continue to play. Tell me why. Ooh, that's exciting. I guess... Thank you for watching as always. We are becoming wolves now. After protected little brother. We have a puppy now. So... Life is strange, but life is also good. On that note, have a good night, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same spot, here. Bye!